All right, here's a quick little challenge for you. Really, only has two parts to it. Here's part one. Right now, the player's been given a variable called item. It's set to one. When we single press the left and right arrow keys, so here's the right arrow, I want it to cycle up, but when you get the five, now you're back to item one again. So it's like going through uh, your bag of goodies or selecting weapons or what item you want to use. So that's the right arrow key. And of course, the left arrow key does the same thing, goes down. And when you get down to one, you go back up to five and you cycle through. Okay, so that's part one of this. Now, the second part of this is going to involve you guys taking the exact same thing, but now just change the draw around. Instead of drawing the number out, once you get that part working, make it so it works like this. Even though you're still keeping track of a number behind the scenes in that variable, make sure you draw the right item out. So item one will be rock, two will be apple, three will be arrow, four will be laser, five, I don't know, you're going to throw paper at somebody, and then you're back to rock again. So I'm cycling up through the items. You can make any five items you want, and I can cycle down. So up, down, up, down, and it cycles beautifully. So that's just a little continuation, and you can modify that inside of the draw event, right? What you're actually showing based on the variable items. Okay, give that a go. Have fun with it. And remember, there's a solution video to check out if you didn't get that.